What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so it is morning time right here, and we still need to heal up our Pokemon because we went through a lot last episode. Uh, we defeated a who will. What do we name him? We didn't name him Michelle or anything like that. No, it's a silver, of course. And, well, we were basically taught how to um, catch Pokemon and all that stuff, too. So, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, here we go, we're in Cherry Grove City, and what we're going to do right now at first is we're going to be buying some Pokeballs, we're going to be buying some uh, extra stuff right here, because we actually need to get to, uh, what was it, no, not the Sprout Tower, Violet City and all that stuff, now we're unable to do all that crud, so let's see what this guy has to sell, and he sells Heal Balls right here, so I'm going to buy three of those little bastards. And let's see, I already have five Pokeballs and all that crud. So what I need to do now is I need to actually buy, let's see, let's see, Antidotes. I got six of those. Paralyze here, I already got those. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy an extra two uh, Heal Balls right here. You guys already know how much I like to uh, alternate Pokeballs right here to, you know, for my, for my Pokemon or my team members right here. As many of you guys already know, I'm already looking at a few Pokemon that I want to actually use for this team. Heart Gold and everything. It's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be very, very fun. Old faces, new new team members, all that crud. So, anywho, let's go right ahead and go back to Route 30. Fortunately, we don't have any kind of a... We don't have any... What was it called? Uh, repels right now because... Yeah. So, here's a Pidgey right here. And I guess I'm going to just burn him up. And it is burnt and crud. Because of that burn, I, I really wanted to capture that Pidgey. God dang it. Never mind. Okay, so it is another day in the life of Draven right here in Johto, the remade version. Not the Generation 2 or 3 version of it. And, well, we're going to get an Apricorn. An Apricorn. I guess I should go back to the previous route and grab that Apricorn as well. That way I can, uh, well, that way I can have multiple Pokeballs come out and all that crud. So, let's see, here we are, Route 29, and here we are with another Apricorn. Just remember, guys, every single day, every single day, you can actually get a new Apricorn. Really doesn't matter. Now, if you're smart, you can actually change the date onto your, onto your, uh, on your DS to actually, to actually change the date, all that stuff here. It's not like the 3DS version where, like, if you change the date, you're gonna have to wait a whole other day to actually capture whatever event Pokemon you, you want to capture. So, here we are, getting another Pokemon right here, and this is a Pidgey again, so let's go right ahead and tackle the crud out of this guy. And, okay, alrighty, so let's go right ahead and capture this guy right here. Many of you guys already know I want to capture more Pokemon in this game. I'm just capturing a whole bunch of Pokemon right here when, as, as I walk by. But in no way I'm going to be using Pidgey as, my, as a team member, but I will name him. It's given name in Pokemon Heart Gold, I would like to say. So here we go. I bequeath you the name. Crap, not Hurricane. <laughs> Hurricane. There we go. There we go. Bequeath you the name Hurricane. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and uh, move on ahead right here. We already went to this guy's house. I think he gives us. A, I think he gives us a berry every single day. So. <laughs> Man, the first five minutes of this whole episode, I'm just going to be spending just getting items from guys again. So, let's see. Tackle this guy. Okay. Well, it looks like looks like good old Draven's going to be capturing some Pokemon right here. So, all right. I'm going to capture you too, Caterpie, because... Oh, crud. I, I, I wanted to go... I wanted to go perfect on this, but now he's just not letting me. And uh, there we go. We got ourselves Caterpie. And, well, there's another Pokemon right there. Worm Pokemon for protection. It releases a horrible stench from the antenna on its head to drive away its enemies. Okay, and did I give it a nickname? No, not really. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here. Let's see what he can do. Let's see. Hey, Collector. Notice a Mapricorn. Street of Tree. Yada, yada. No, he doesn't give us any more berries. Okay, so... He just lets us know about Apricorns and all that crud. Okay, so let's move... God dang it. Let's move on right here. <laughs> and here we have another Pidgey, level 4. And well, time to move on ahead right here. And I just got a text message. <laughs> Need to shut that down. Oh, God. People like to text me. 
Now, I'm currently doing this as the pandemic is still going on. If you guys don't remember, yeah, we are still going through this whole COVID-19 thing. Uh, let's see. Talk to this guy first. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Do I, look, do I really look weak? Screw that. But anywho, COVID-19, all that stuff. As I'm speaking, May 28th, okay? Uh, in my town, they finally loosened them just a little bit. We're at phase 2.5, and... Let's see, talk to this guy. Hey, can I get your number? I'll bring you up to battle. Yes. So like I like I mentioned in the previous episodes, guys, uh, you don't have to like press the A button to talk to these guys to get their phone number. They just automatically give you the number, and now you have unlimited slots to actually get phone numbers. So don't worry about it. The only thing you have to worry about is people constantly ringing you. I'll ring you whenever I get a, get the urge to battle. Oh, well, sure, whatever. And this is the guy that he, they got, or that beat him. Let's see. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you then you have to battle, probably. Anywho, guys. So like I was saying, uh, they kind of loosened up on the whole phases and all that stuff. We're at phase 2.5. Two, two and a half. I'm kind of pissed off for, in, in, for two reasons. Two reasons I'm pissed off about this. A. That technically means that I'm still not essential. And B. That means that any kind of like barbers out there they're not essential either I look ridiculous right now I really do my beard is like scruffy my hair is like shoot my old high school days believe it or not guys back in the <laughs> well it wasn't my high school days college yeah in college uh, I actually had dreads believe it or not I had dreads and that was due to a girlfriend that I had at the time so it was like that was a fun time fun fun time I'm not a trainer but if you look uh, look one in the eyes prepare to battle that is true, and we're going to be battling a bunch of Pokemon right here, and look at that, we found ourselves a Metapod, which, you know, we, we already have Caterpie, so why capture? And here we have our beloved Bug Catcher right here, so let's see what he has to say. It's not a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. That is so true, so true. Okay, so here he comes out with a Caterpie, Caterpie, and we're going to be going with the Ember Attack right here. Alrighty, okay. And since he's coming out with Caterpies, I'm gonna go with Hurricane. Just gonna train it up a little bit. Now, again, like I said, I am not going to... Well, I'm not going to use Hurricane in this whole thing. Uh, if you guys don't know, first few parts is gonna be a little difficult. Uh, well, it's not difficult for me since you guys chose Cynical for me. But if you guys have, like, Quilava, or, no, not Quilava, but Totodile or Chikorita, you probably should be get, looking into getting a, a, a flying-type Pokemon. Just because of the Sprout Tower and all that stuff. And look at that. Tackle Attack wins, and Hurricane is gaining a buttload of levels, which is good. Good for you. Okay, so, let's move on right here. We are now in Route 31. And, well, we still got a bunch of patch of grass right here. And if you talk to this guy, Dark Cave, if a Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. That is true. And many of you guys already know that in Pokemon Crystal, I caught two specific Pokemon in there. Now, I did take a look at the at the manual right here, and I don't think you can capture a I don't think you can capture an, a Teddy Ursa right here. So let's go right ahead into the Dark Cave. As you can see. They, they brought back the, the pictures and all that stuff. Now, we can't see anything. And, well, well, we can see some things. But you can actually explore this place without, you know, using without using a, a, a flash technique. But flash is actually needed just because, you know. And look at that. Critical hit. Geodude defeated. <clears throat> yeah, I just ate before this. And I'm just going to keep on going forward because I think we should just do this. So, hello Zubat, it's been a while, how you doing? Bam, and there's that leech life. So ladies and gentlemen, you guys may have remembered that I actually got a Zubat, evolved it pretty quickly in the last, uh, in the Pokemon Crystal, and I've been using them ever since in different kind of walkthroughs. So, without further ado, the next Pokemon on our team right here is going to be Zubat, and we use the Heal Ball, so there you go. Look at that. Zubat, the bat Pokemon. Poison and flying. 
It is two feet seven inches. Sixteen point five pounds. It's a fatty of a Pokemon. While flying, it's constantly it constantly emits ultrasonic waves from its mouth to check its surroundings. Now, all of you guys are already know what his name is or her name is. I think it's a female that we got in Pokemon Crystal. So yes, without further ado, welcome back to the team, Toxie Batman. Let's see now. Let's see Toxie. There we go. Bit. Bit man. Oh wow, I put a period on that. Wow. See, that's what what happens. Let's see, Toxic Batman. Oh wow. <laughs> can't even. I can't even. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even spell things right. Look at that, Toxic Batman. There we go, Batman. It would be Toxic Wolf, back Toxic Batwoman or something like that, but not enough letters right there. So look at that. Welcome back to the team, Toxic Batman. Okay, so we cut our Pokemon, or we got the Pokemon that we needed right here gonna prove useful now let's go ahead and take a look at what it has right now so it is a naughty nature we call it a dark cave and it likes to thrash about and the only move that it has right now is leech life so technically it would be effective against probably a uh, bell sprout but not really and if, as you can see it does have inner focus as its uh, ability so we need to train this Pokemon up just a little bit so that's another Pokemon that we have for our team, and well, now let's just continue on right here. Like I said before, I don't think you can capture an, uh, a Teddy, uh, what not a Teddy Ursa right here. So let's move on right here, guys. We need cut for this one for just a shortcut. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, hmm, "Huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt, and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be I'd be easy to catch." Z -z -z. Okay, all right. And look at that, we got ourselves another apricorn tree. Pretty cool, pretty awesome, look at that. Pretty great, okay. So another black apricorn, and well, let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here. Let's see what he has to say. I got a bunch of Pokemon, let me battle with you. Okay, all righty, let's go. Okay, so, oh wow, I forgot to switch Pokemon right here. So, let's go with the Flame or an Ember attack. That will probably be it right there. And he's coming out with another Caterpie. So, let's go with Toxic Batman. Try and grow it some levels right here. And, well, level 3 versus level 2. It's going to be it's gonna be fun right here because it is a Bug-type Pokemon right here. And you only get so many critical hits and all that crud. So, let's go ahead and try it again. Luckily for us, we do have a little bit of a speed button going into this battle right here. So, you won't be skipping... Or it won't be skipping any important battles, just, you know, you're going to be seeing the, sh the the raw footage and all that stuff just a little faster than usual. And, well, here we go again. Leech life. Man, we can only have so many leech lives. There we go. And there you go. Caterpie's been defeated. And that's a lot of experience points. So I'm just going to go with another Caterpie right here. Let's go right ahead. Of course, we're going to be slow as, slow as hell. There we go, Leech Life, Leech Life, String Shot, Leech Life, String Shot. <laughs> well, the other thing too in, the, in this remade version is that, yeah, yeah, Toxic Batman or, you know, Zuban actually learns, uh, what was it, learns some different moves along the way early on. I think Wing Attack is learned a little bit earlier than before, or before it evolves into a Golbat, so... That's a big plus for me, and here we go again with a leech life, and that's how you take care of that, okay. And bam, look at that, level 4, and he's he's coming out with a Weedle, so I gotta go back to uh, Cinder right here, because Weedle is a different Pokemon. We'll try and poison you, don't need to mess with that right now, and look at that, Weedle defeated, Wade defeated. And, of course, he will be able to give you... Yeah, he's going to be giving you berries. So, you know, you're going to have to register your number with this guy right here. So, I guess that's I guess that's that. And, well... There we go. Pokeball right there. And, well, let's see. There is one more Pokemon that I want to capture right here. And that's not it right there. Well, just for the time being and all that crud. Served no purpose and all that stuff, so let's see. Let's see if I can find it before I can actually go into Violet. No, that's not another Pokemon. Okay, so let's go right here. And, well, let's see. I'm going to try one more time. 
And that is not the Pokemon that I want to capture. Okay, so... Yeah, let's not... Let's not... Oh, well. Well, I had no choice just to run into this guy, and uh, there you are. Okay, so this is the Pokemon I want to capture. It is Bellsprout, but... I'm actually going to be capturing multiples of this Pokemon because there will be a person right at Violet City that, of course, will actually try and capture or will actually trade you a, whatchamacallit, a, an Onix for a Bellsprout. So, here we have Bellsprout, the flower Pokemon, grass, and poison Pokemon. Even though its body is extremely skinny, it is blindly fast when catching its prey. Holy crud. Look at it, it's a twig. Now, this Pokemon right here, I will not nickname. But I will nickname the next Pokemon that I, I get right here. So that's the Pokemon that we got. Now, here we go into Violet City. And what the hell? I completely forgot about this. I knew it was you, Draven. How did you get past me? Here's something neat for surprising me, Draven. And look at that. We get ourselves the VS Recorder. And... Well, let's see... Well, I'm not even reading this because somebody just texted me. God dang it. Let's go, Meryl. Okay. Okay, so let's move on right here. God dang, people need to stop te texting me and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are in Violet City. I'm not going to switch out anything right now. We're just going to go ahead and take a visit of Violet City. And then in the next episode, we will be going into the Sprout Tower. So let's go ahead and talk to people. We care about the traditional buildings around here. That's why even the Pokemon and Pokemon Center are painted a bit somberly to blend in. That is true. If you haven't noticed, look at that. It looks a little bit different than, than the regular one. So first thing is first. If you guys want to trade for that Onyx right here... All you need to do, do is go right here into this house and talk to this guy. He's like, I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Bellsprout? I want to want to trade it for an Onix? Sure, let's do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and trade this Bellsprout right here. And say bye-bye. Look at that. Pokeballs look pretty like pretty realistic and all that stuff. Look at that. Bye-bye. Going up into the air. And there's that Onix. And would you look at that? We're playing a 3DS, and BAM! Yay, I got myself a Bellsprout! Thanks! So, let's go right ahead and take a look at the Pokemon right here. Of course, you know, the Pokemon that you trade for will be at the same level that you trade, you know, trade to, so it's like, whatever. As you can see right here, this is Rocky the Onyx, both a rock and ground type Pokemon. It is a hasty nature and all that stuff. Loves to eat. It does have a, it, it is holding a person berry at the moment. And its defense is pretty big. Very physical on the defense. And, well, it's... Eh, everything else is pretty good right here. As you can see, it's sturdy. It's protected against one-hit KO attacks. So, if, like, let's just say if it's battling any kind of water-type Pokemon, and it just wants to knock it out, it'll take two attacks in order to, you know, beat this guy. Now, you could use this Pokemon to actually go up against Faulkner, the gym leader here, because he does have flying types. But I'm choosing not to right here because I really, 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 really don't want to choose or I really don't want to work with an Onyx right now. Even though I'm, you know, at some point I kind of want to use an Onyx or uh, evolve into Steelix right here. So let's go into the PC right here and let's go ahead and store some Pokemon that we don't need. So let's see, Caterpie, that's one Pokemon right there. Hurricane is another one. And of course, Rocky as well. So... That's three Pokemon, and well, let's go right ahead and just start healing our Pokemon right now, and god dang, the controls here is pretty awesome right there, look at that, look at that, okay, so, two Pokemon, one Pokemon trainer, alrighty, so, let's see, after drinking that, let's go, okay, so here we are in Violet City, and, well, there's a lot of things you can actually visit. In every first town, you're going to find a Pokemon school. So, let's see. Let's see. Violet City, the city of nostalgic scent. Okay, so let's go. You know what? Let's let's do it. I don't care. I really don't care. Let's see. Talk to this. Stop moving. Fugner, the from the Violet City Pokemon Gym, is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. You don't say. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's spinning around there. Bonjour! You're a trainer! Battle gym, uh, battle gym leader? And when did you, or you did? Well, no. 
Is that so? Then study shall you! Follow me! Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. He's got more moves than god dang freaking... Who, who's the best dancer in the world right now? I don't even know. Then Fiction, you know, you guys... Have you ever heard of that guy, Fiction? Yeah, he's got more moves than that guy. Here, teacher I am. Good it is you study here. Oh wow. So I think he, he kind of reminds me of a somebody. I just don't know who. But somebody. Now, here we are in the Pokemon school, and if, let's see, you talk to this guy. Here I am, a wonderful po our Pokemon, yes. Teach you, I will, to be a better trainer. What you want to know, what want to be winner is you. Yes, okay, good, teach you, I will. In battle, Pokemon top on list. The walking one, jump out first. Change order in list, make battle easy, maybe. More for me uh, to, to hear? Yeah, sure, why not? Lexi, so want to know how to raise Pokemon well? Fine, teach you I will. If Pokemon come out in battle, even briefly, some experience points it's it gets. Keep out weak Pokemon. Switch in battle quick. This way, weak Pokemon very strong become. More for me, from you or you know to hear? Not really. Don't want to. I kind of get the gif of this whole thing right here. So, Lexi, somebody in here gives us a gift. Who does it? Okay, some berries. Okay, yada yada yada. Okay, so taking notes, taking notes of the Pokemon. Yep, not, nothing right there. And Pokemon have what are called abilities. It seems that each kind of Pokemon has its distinct abilities. They say these abilities come in handy in battle. Okay. I think it's this guy right here, because those two are trading. And he's like, hey, you! Uh, I know it's a little sudden, but you want to jump in, join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Sure, let's make a group. What do you want to name this group? Hmm. The murder group. Nah. I got it. There we go. The Gattaca group. Alrighty, just because I, you know, yelled that out. In the league. The league. Gattaca. Gattaca. The Gattaca group. Okay, the Gattaca group, huh? That's a great name. The leader is Draven, and I hope your, the group gets more members. That is true. Okay, so let's move on right here and uh, see if I can get into the door. And, well, let's see. We can't go in there yet because, uh, you know, Rock Smash and all that stuff. You got your Pokemon Center right here. And what else? If you go right here, let's see. Turn to this guy. She uses the names of all the foods she really enjoys eating. Four nicknames she gives to, uh, to hear Pokemon Ice Mean. What the hell? These guys know how to talk or something? I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Well, I call my Pokemon uh, different names. Now, I just remembered something. Toxic Batman needs to be in the front because if you keep your Pokemon in the front, it will grow in happiness and all that stuff. And Many of you guys already know, Toxic Batman or Zubat right here will actually evolve into Crobat out of happiness. So now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to go down and take a look at this right here. It's an apricorn tree. We get ourselves that. Bam! A yellow apricorn. Oh my god. Yellow apricorn. Okay. So, let's see. Actually, let's go into the Pokemon Center. I kind of want to do something. Something very, very... Uh, Unique. So let's see what they what they're selling. They're selling a netball right here. So, oh crud. Yeah, this costs a thousand dollars right there. So I'm gonna have to save up on that. But if you go right here and something pretty cool, guys. If you if you buy ten pokeballs, then of course you will be able to get a premier ball. Now what I'm doing, I'm trying to do. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is get enough to actually get a premier ball. Actually, what the hell am I doing? So let me sell some items. Cause I don't think I'm gonna get paralyzed or anything right now. You see, this is a, this is what happens when you begin right now, and yeah, you're, you're pretty much a bum right now. So let's see. Uh, I don't need so many antidotes. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, actually, hold on. If I sell both my paralysis heals and yeah, I'll sell four of these little bastards, and let's see. Now I'm gonna buy ten pokeballs right here. Okay, it's only enough for... God dang it, it's only enough for 10, or for 8 Pokeballs, so... Screw it, gotta break tradition somehow. Or will I? 
Eh, just yeah, screw it. Okay, so let's go ahead and visit up some other places right here. Actually, not right there first. Let's go downstairs right here. And, well, let's see, let's see. Uh, this one, this route right here, you'll be, Route 32, you'll be able to find some pa a patch of grass. And you will be able to find another route right here, which will lead into, what was it, the Ruins of Alf right there. Which, of course, you already know that it's a, it's a special place for Pokemon or Legends and all that stuff, and we will be exploring that just a tad bit. Now, if you try to cross this right here, this guy's like, wait up! What's the hurry? Have you gone to the Pokemon Gym? You can test your Pokemon and yourself there. It's a rite of passage for all trainers. Okay, okay, so we will not be able to cross that until after beating the Gym Leader, so now we're gonna be going right here because we got a little business to take care of, and that is not the business that I'm looking for. So I'm going to run away. Run away, little birdie. Run away. Okay, so we're going to continue going right here. And as you can already tell, there's a lot of Pokemon right here that you can actually find. Hopip is one Pokemon that you can find. You know what? Screw it. Since it only has Splash, and it is a... It is a... Uh, well, crud baskets. Well, we can't really do much. Oh, crud. Yeah, we can't really do much. So let's just switch out of our Pokemon right here. Yeah, you'll be able to find a lot of Pokemon right here. Uh, Hopip is one of them, but it's not a really good Pokemon that you can actually get. And look at that, Pokemon gaining experience points. And probably, a, like, every single one of you guys already know what I'm, I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to look for a Pokemon. And that's not it. What if I was looking for two Pokemon? And we can't skip. God dang it. Run away. Run away, little birdie. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on our little capturings right here. How do we know? And there you go. So, yeah, we're gonna be capturing Mareep. Many of you guys have been posting up on my on my videos. Hey Draven, come and, go and capture Mareep. Capture Mareep, it's a powerhouse Pokemon. And that was the plan all along because, yeah, uh, what was it? Well, in Pokemon Crystal, I was kinda saddened that we couldn't get Mareep at all. So, I improvised and I guess I got Ursarang and who was the electric type Pokemon on, on my team? Shoot, I don't even remember, but Rud Baskets, there you go with the static, and well, can't really do much now with Toxic Batman, so we gotta go with Cinder right here. But as you can see, Mareep is now available to you right here just because, well, flying type Pokemon guys. And I'm gonna continue going with a little bit of tackle attacks right here. I'm just I'm just gonna be risking the whole the whole Oh god dang it! Never mind! And talks about Batman grows to level 5. Okay, well. Well, you already guys know. Well, you guys already know that, yeah. I'm gonna get a Mareep. So, you know what? Let's save it for the next episode. Trust me, guys. You will be seeing another episode today. Today, which would be probably Saturday or something like that. I don't know. But yes, Mareep will be coming into the next episode. Eh, nah, never mind. I'm just playing. Let's go ahead and try and find it. Don't care. I'm not going to leave you guys with blue balls or anything like that. And, well, there's that Redita, Pesky Redita. Completely forgot. God dang it. Okay, so, let's see. Well, you guys are seeing me train and all that crud, so that's that's fun. That is very, very fun. So let's go with an Ember attack right here. Thought he was going to destroy my Pokemon like that. No, Redita can go suck it. Okay, so first we got to switch out. Toxic Batman because that right there is not going to is not going to slide. So let's go ahead and try and find this Pokemon right here. Now at night, there there will be different Pokemon that you can capture right here too. The only thing is that you know it's not even nighttime, but you can actually manipulate the the time right here onto your computer if you're using a uh, a uh, what was it? Yes, a uh, an emulator and all that stuff. So I'm gonna capture this guy right here. Bam. Okay, so you guys already know that we already captured a Bellsprout, and this guy is going to get a proper nickname too. Not this. You guys already know what this guy's nickname is. Sir. Sir Razor. Oh, crud. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Sir Razor. There we go, and bam. Okay, alrighty. So we got, the, we got another Pokemon from the previous team and all that stuff. And we're still looking for the other ones. Now, off screen, I will be trying to capture some other Pokemon, you know, 
fill up my Pokedex and all that stuff. Hopefully they, you know, hopefully it will work and everything. And, well, let's see. Come on, where are you? Freaking Flaffy. Or, I don't even know. So, anywho, guys. How, is it, how are you guys doing? I know that some of you guys graduated without walking and all that stuff. Because of this whole COVID-19 and everything. Kind of sucks. really does. And I hope... I hope that it has a better outcome once you guys go to college. Start doing things. Start living and all that stuff. Trust me, guys. It gets better. It gets a little hard. But it gets better. But, hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, once this whole COVID-19 thing just ends and all that stuff, it's not going to be all normal and everything, but... Hopefully we'll be better about you know pre preventing all these kinds of stuff because this thing went out of like went out of nowhere And it escalated quickly and look at that we found ourselves a Marie It just escalated so quickly that you know little by little everything started getting shut down and it was just you know It was not the business guys, so Hopefully any like every single one of you guys you know you would find out there now here We have a perfect chance to actually capture this guy so we're gonna throw another heal ball at this guy. Look at that. Bam! Got you. Alrighty. Okay. So here we have, guys, Mareep the Wool Pokemon. Two feet, 17, and two ounces, pounds, and all that crud of fluffiness and all that stuff. If static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Oh, damn. So it is fluffy. It's fleece. It's a wool Pokemon. I kind of have a, I kind of have a good nickname. Let's see. I want to name it something. Electro Fluff. There we go. So we just found a nickname for the Pokemon right there. Let's call him, or yeah, it is a him. Elec. Let's see. Electro. Does it? Nick yes, it, it has everything. Electro. Fluff. Let's see. Electro Fluff. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so we can't really call him Electro Fluff because we just missed up his nickname. Like, Electro Fluff. Oh, oh. Okay, so let's let's call it another nickname right here. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I could call it Shocker. Shocker. But it's Fluffy. Shock, shock Fluff. No. Ah, here we go. Okay, I got a good nickname. I got a, a good nickname. Here we go. Now, I did ask some of you guys out there, if I were to capture a Flaffy, what would you nickname it? Nobody responded, so I was like, you know what, you guys have a, had a chance to actually nickname the Pokemon right here, but since you guys didn't really do it, let's go ahead and call it Fluff Vault. There we go. There we go. So... Another member of the Fluffs. Fluff Bolt. That's a good nickname, right? Or Shock Bolt. Or Shock Fluff. Fluff. Fluff Shock. Volt Shock. I don't even know. Fluff Bolt. Well, we're going to be queefing them. Fluff Bolt. There you go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. Now, I just remembered what electric type Pokemon we had, and it was actually Kid Thunder. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at Fluff Vault. As you can see right here, it is bashful in nature. Level 6, proud of its power. You know, it's not that speedy of a Pokemon, but it's still a very good special attacker. And its ability is static. Contact with the Pokemon may cause paralysis, and it does have two moves. So, off screen, I will be training up these Pokemon just a little bit, just so we can get to, you know, to uh, what you might call it, the, the, the Sprout Tower and all that crud. And then, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we, we, we can do something about that. Now, final thing in the agenda right here is we're going to be going right here and just taking a look at, look at everything. As you can see, talk to this guy. Plants are also living things they would want to move around from time to time. That's cool. That is very, very cool. So here we are in Route 36. Now, you talk to this person. An odd tree is blocking the way to Ecratic City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. And they're all looking at it right now. Arthur, who are you? I'm Arthur of Thursday. Here, take this. And we get ourselves the Hearthstone. Now, if you guys remember, there are seven, well, seven people, seven, eh, I would have to say seven uh, siblings. They actually give you items throughout every single day. Well, every, 
every single one item every single part of the day of the weekday and weekend and all that stuff arthur happens to land on thursday right there if you use rock type moves you can give that to your pokemon it raises the strength of rock type moves that's cool and if you talk to this guy you haven't you had trouble uh, with a boulder block in your way of course you have for people like you there's an hm that will uh, come uh, to your rescue and look at that we get our first hm which is hm06 rock smash it contains a make em faint rock smash you can even use it on smash boulders at once you've earned the violet city gym badge but beware hidden moves like these are hard for your pokemon to forget once they have been learned you should think carefully of which pokemon should learn it oh well, you could always use an hm slave now here is the tree that doesn't move at all well that moves but can't move out of the way it's blocking the way to Ecrotech city golden rod city the national park what have you it is something of a spectacle right there, which we will have to take care of afterwards. So now, I think that covers everything. I know I had a brief moment of me trying to find Pokemon and all that stuff. I think you just, you know, you saw that. But in the next episode, we will be going into the Sprout Tower and taking care of business up there because we got stuff to do. We got lots of stuff to do. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.